Welcome back, everybody. I'm Dr. Craig Malkin, a clinical psychologist and lecturer for Harvard Medical School. I'm also the author of Rethinking Narcissism, which is devoted to helping you understand and cope with narcissism in all its forms and all your relationships. Today, I want to talk about money and narcissism. If you like my videos, please remember to like, comment, subscribe by turning on the notification bell so I can keep sharing in this way. There isn't a whole lot of direct research done on attitudes as people become more and more narcissistic towards money and their spending habits and how they think about money. But there is a really interesting study, it was probably done about 10 years ago, where they wanted to examine the question of like, well, what exactly are the relationships people who are more narcissistic have with finance and money? So they used a measure called the money attitude scale, but they also used two other measures You've heard me talk about two of the different types of narcissism, covert and overt. And so they used a measure of overt narcissism that's pretty typical called the narcissistic personality inventory. People who agree with statements like, I like to look at myself in the mirror and I'm a natural born leader. And they looked at covert narcissism, people who agree with statements in self-report measures like most people don't understand my problems and i'm really sensitive to criticism items along those lines and if you recall the general understanding of overt and covert narcissism is they they both have grandiosity it's just that overt narcissists wear their grandiosity on the outside like a badge and they have much more deeply hidden their insecurities and then covert narcissists seem outwardly insecure anxious hypersensitive to criticism that's the name of one of the measures actually and then internally that's where they harbor their grandiosity including grandiose dreams even if they feel failed so what's the relationship between these different types of narcissism and money, it's complicated, as you've seen and learned from other things that I've shared. It's not a surprise that if you look at items on the money attitude scale, like I believe money is the ultimate sign of prestige or, and value, both covert and overt narcissists agree with that. But overt narcissists, unlike covert narcissists, because they don't tend to be very outwardly anxious or struggle in that way with their fears, it also extends to money. They love spending money. They love the prestige of it. They love having money, but they don't feel particularly anxious about what they spend it on and the choices that they make. And they don't agree with statements like, I tend to fight about the cost of things, or I'm worried about losing all my money. They don't worry about those things the way covert narcissists do. Because remember, covert narcissists, they want that striving to the more narcissistic somebody is in this covert way, or as I call it, introverted narcissism, because it correlates so strongly with introversion. The, the more they want to strive for power and prestige through money, money is an easy way to do that but they worry about their status and they worry about losing the money so much that they do get into arguments about the costs of things and whether or not something should be spent. So this is a distinction that came up really clearly. It was something like 300 subjects that they looked at, that there was no correlation at all between this anxiety and distrust element of money attitude scale and overt narcissism. And there was a strong one between anxiety and distrust for covert narcissists. So I hope that was helpful. If you're trying to understand patterns that you're seeing and understand like what will happen in yourself if you struggle with narcissism and why, or if you have a partner or somebody that you're close to and you're seeing these patterns in them, this explains why there's this difference between financial attitude and money spending attitudes. So if you like the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and comment so I can add to the discussion and I want to share more. Thanks. Mm -hmm.